Hey guys, so I am back. It's been a little while since I've uploaded a video, um, but I have been spending a lot of my student loan on Pokemon cards. It's kind of like an addiction. And because I don't have all the money in the world, I don't want to spend buying packs and packs and packs, like hoping to pull something, then when I pull something, it's like the same as what I pulled before. So I go onto websites like Vinted, Depop, eBay, that kind of thing. I try and find the best cards, the cards that I like the most um, to basically purchase. Um, because I have a kind of style that I like. So I like trainer gallery cards. Um, like trainers and their Pokemons, like they're my favourite thing, so I purchase them if I can find them cheap. Um, so that's what I also do, but then I also have, my son likes a lot of like tag teams, rainbow cards, the kind of cards that like seem really rare, so I try and find those really cheap too. So today I have quite a few packages, I haven't made, had time to make a video now being back at uni. So I thought, do you know what, while I have a student directed week, a week off so i'm just looking through all the packaging to make sure i haven't missed any um i have a week off well i don't have a week off it's student directed like learning week so it basically just means that i have to do my own independent learning sorry that i'm talking while doing stuff i probably should have done this first but you know me i have adhd and i will do as i please like always wow <laughs> it's officially winter as well guys oh my god it's been freezing it's raining the weather is awful outside like it's atrocious, it's shocking. I would not recommend going out right now without a coat because you'll freeze to death. I've got the cards here. I'm gonna start by showing you my latest purchase because it actually goes with my collection. So this was from eBay. Um, this lady was sending, uh, I think it was a lady, but I could be wrong. Somebody was selling, the username seemed like a lady, but yeah, that's stereotypical of me. Um, so the username seemed very, um, I don't care about the username. What's wrong with me today? Backtrack. So, it goes well with my collection. She was send. They were sending. Sending. What is going on with my brain? They were selling a bundle. However, I didn't need all the cards in the bundle. I actually only needed four. And I think it was like six. So I asked the person very nicely, "Is there any chance I could just purchase the ones I need?" They say yes. So here we are with the ones that I need. So. They sent the packaging in like a, I think these are like semi-rigid things. Um, I, I mean, I don't mind these, but they're a little bit of a protection. They don't protect from the card spending and that worries me, but they came fine. So I'm not complaining. Um, shipping was very, very quick actually. I got this the day after it was shipped out. So I was very happy. So the first card, one of the first cards, they're a little bit bent, but it doesn't matter, it's just to go in my binder. Um was cast ca is it cast form or cast form? Um in the UK we or in the South we'd say cast form, but there's no R, but we pronounce ours. Like we don't say castle, we say castle, um, where there's no R. And I don't know why, like we don't say bath, we say bath. Not really sure, don't know if it's like because where I'm from maybe years ago you said like a farmer's place, I don't know. Anyway, back to the video. So this one, and I absolutely adore this one because like obviously, I actually don't know who it is. <laughs> but I'm guessing it's a boy at, at school with his um, Pokemon. If you know who these are, please comment down below and let me know because I have no idea. I just love the art, like the illustrations for me are incredible. Um, yeah, so it's a normal type. I'm not really sure if this is, is this Crown Zenith? Or is that not Crown Zenith? So, Lorraine? Oh, I don't know. Ah, I don't know these ones. I'm not really good at that, but I do like this one. So that was the first one. Now this was a bundle of four. Um, some of these cards have just come out of the sleeve. So we got... Didene? Diden? Didene? I'm not sure how you pronounce these, by the way. I'm not good at pronunciations. Uh, never have been, probably never will be. Uh, again, don't know who this is, but I thought this was such a cute and um, fine. All of these were like 1.99 each, um, and that was including shipping. 
So I was actually really happy with these because I see a lot of people try and sell these for like, sometimes these for like £10 and I'm like, it's not worth £10. I would never buy that for £10, never. Um, and again, I always go online and I always like offer them. Um, I don't ever buy straight away for the price. I always go in with an offer straight away. The next one is Aridos. Um, and this one I think is cute. Again, don't know who that is. Um, I read Pokemon books, but I've never watched it. My, my son probably could tell me, but I don't know. But look, I just think it's so cool. Like the art in these are absolutely incredible and insane. I just find them absolutely stunning. Um, the card quality are okay. It seems to be cut weird, but again, this is not the person's fault. This is more the, um, just the cut of the card. Not all of them like that, just this one. I don't know if you can see that, they're really like quite sharp edges, which is quite weird for a Pokemon card, but they are definitely real. Again, just the cut of the card. Um, not much that you can do about that. So again, I'm not bothered though. These were all relatively cheap. And then Banet, 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 Banet. I don't know how to pronounce them. Oh well, it is what it is. But then we have this one and I thought this one was really cute. Don't know who that is. So if anyone knows, please let me know. Um, again, these are not for like any massive purpose, they're just to go into my collection. I like collecting trainer cards. If I can one day, I will collect all the trainer cards. Uh, um, but with me and my ADHD, I'll, by the time I get to collect them all, I'll probably be bored of it. No, hopefully not. I do love this. I've only had this hobby for like less than a year. Um, look, I like this card a lot. I like um, a lot of these because they have like what seems like a lot of depth, like with the shine and everything. But yeah, so these are all kind of standard cards. Um, like I said, they're in their own trainer gallery, but if you know Pokemon, you already know that. I don't need to tell you that. I absolutely don't need to tell you that. <laughs> um, I'm just going to pop these here. I don't want them going anywhere. So yeah, here will do just fine, I, th I think. I think. Um, trying to do this so we don't go anywhere i don't like it when the cards just like fly away okay so then before so they were from ebay then before i bought these from someone on depop i had purchased from him before my trainer cards um and i got this one i'm gonna have to go through this a little bit faster because i won't be here all day i've got a lot of cards to show this one which is rk9 and i absolutely love this one i think it's so stunning definitely a good card sorry the shine is really awful on the lighting when you have those on that's better look at that that is a good piece of artwork by you hey you illustrations okay and then also in the same package you know if you think it was a good deal bad deal if you're selling cards cheaper where else can I get trainer cards? Like, is there any good places to get trainer cards? I've been using Facebook too, which you'll see some of my purchases. I really like this one. It really reminds me of like Christmas. I don't know why, I just like it. Look at the shine. Do you know what? Oh, that's cut really badly. I don't know if you can see that. Um, maybe better that way. Look, look at that. You can see it on my hair actually, look. That's really bad. Unless that wasn't a cut pigeon on mine too unless that wasn't a cut unless someone put it in badly but hey it is what it is i'm not going to complain like i said because it really is just for me and my personal collection because i adore the art i love the art so i don't need pristine cards and i don't mind buying them relatively cheap so like i said majority of these will be around 199 um i may have got some for a little bit more pricier but usually they would be like a v max or something why are you pecking at my window? Um, which <laughs> which I don't have any VMAXs to hand. I have just bought the um, Summit Rider. Um, and he's a VMAX. Is he VMAX? I think he could be VMAX um, with a trainer. And that looked really cool. I think the trainer's like bungee jumping. So I'm excited to see that one. Then we went on Facebook and we bought two cards. And I ended up getting three cards for free. So I'll show you the two that I bought. So one is for me, and I bought this at literally like a quid, quid, two quid. And I thought that was really good because these can sell for like at least five pounds. 
Um, so I thought that was a really good deal. And I really love this Pokemon. I think it's such a stunning card. Like, even the little Pokeballs are down below. Again, I don't know who this is. It doesn't look like Ash. But is it Ash? I don't know. Uh, it looks like a female, but I could be wrong. Um, Ash's mum. <laughs> but yeah, I thought that was a really cute um, card. I really like this card a lot. And then with the same order, I purchased a Mew Mewtwo Visa for my son. Um, it has the fingerprint. Some of these are walked a little bit, which is annoying. It's more my fault how I'm storing them. I probably should store them better. Um, but it does have the fingertips on. I don't know if you can see that because of my camera. I don't know if you can see that actually. But it does have the, the fingerprint things on. Mm. It's quite hard to see, but they are there. I can see them. And that's all that matters. But I also thought it was a really cool um, card. It's very pretty. My son will absolutely love this. He'll be like, oh my god, this is like the best card in the world. He's very much like that. And then the ones that she gave us for free, which we do already have two of them. So if you want two cards and you don't have them, comment down below. I'll send them out to you for free. So we have a Mewtwo, which I don't have this one. So I'll be keeping this one. It's a Cosmic Hollow. Um, it's actually quite cool. He looks very angry. Um... 2022 so it's more of a older card now um but very pretty very cool my son will keep that one these two i have so i'm happy to give away these for free if you do not have them then comment down below just comment like the the video and i will send these to you for free but yeah if you know anyone that wants them because i don't need them i already got them <laughs> Um, it's a tag team. So this one is bought from Vinted and it's a Moltres and Zapdos, Zapdos and Articuno card and I love five band graphics. So when I saw this, I was over the moon. I was so happy. A good five band graphic card. Um, I'm going to get it out. But look at that. I don't know if you can see the lines on it again. For some weird reason, it just wants to focus on my face. That's a shame, but it, it does have fingerprints. I call them fingerprints. They might not be fingerprints, but that's what I like to call them. Um, I thought it was a really pretty card, actually. Like, if you look at the actual card itself, it's stunning. Um, then I got this, because, of course, it's a trainer and their Pokemon peers. And look at that. Oh, I love this one so much. It's got the fingerprints. I love that. I love textured cards. Texture cards are my favourite. Sorry, I'm still looking at them because I'm like, wow, it's so lovely lovely so yeah good card i like this card i was happy when i got this so i got this with another card i bought them together because you can do on like these websites bundles and stuff so that card and it came with this card um and the reason i bought this card this is textured and glittery and rainbow the card is because i hope it's bloody real sometimes i buy things i'm like it looks real surely it's real but it's got fingerprints um and everything so i think i believe it's real but um, I bought this card because my son actually got given a card by his friend. And when he came out, he was so excited by this card. And I looked at him and I was like, I don't want to be a damper on anything. I was like, but that card is fake. Did you know when you know? Like, there was no texture. It was just, yeah. So he didn't believe me. So I said, if you rip it, you'll be able to see that it's fake. Because he had accident, not him, but he had with a friend accidentally ripped a real one. So he knew what a real one was like. We ripped it, he saw it was fake. So I found this on, I think, either Depop or Vinted, and we ended up getting this. So I'm going to give that to him as a Christmas present, and I think he'll be over the moon and happy. So, yeah, it's just like a psychic type cake. It's for real, it's not the cake, it's the thing on top of the cake, but it looks like a cake to me. So that's what I went with. Oh my god, literally, we have like a stack. And I got these for free. That's the best thing about. Um, buying from people is you do get a lot for free um so i ended up getting these for free and it's just tadpole reverse um and a oh no a, oh we don't have that one and a hollow hollow one um some people are not that bothered by things like this but i actually think it's really thoughtful and really kind and really sweet and i believe it's from the person that gave me the like arcanine um i could be wrong it might not be so this one is also for my son because he loves things like this. And I know that these are his like favourite 
So it's just a Mew V Max. He really wants to find like a Mew 2 V Max, but I don't even think that's a thing. So if anyone can link me to like, if it's a thing or not, that would be really handy. Um, because yeah, my son really loves things like Mew, Mew 2. They're his favorite cards. So I bought him one of these for Christmas. Um, I love this card. I think it's a very good card. It's got the fingerprints. Um, that's the first thing I do when ordering online. I actually message them and I'm like, can you send me close-ups of the card? I want to see if there's fingerprints on it because I actually nearly bought one card that had no fingerprints. Not this, but it was a Cinder Race, um, a rainbow card. And I was just like gobsmacked when they were trying to sell it for like an expensive price and it was fake. And I was like, it's fake. Um, a lot of people don't want to hear that. So they get really defensive and they don't like you and they don't want to talk to you again. But at the end of the day, when something's fake, it's fake and you should be called out. And if someone buys something, they should know and they should have the right to know that it's not real. Um, and if, if people are selling cards, believe in their real, then they need to change that. That's my opinion. Anyway, so then the next one is a Mew2 and Mew GX. Now look at that bad boy. And I actually think he wants this one too and he doesn't know I bought this. He said to me, because I was like, I showed him another one. He was like, oh, that's really cool, but I would like this one. So I actually managed to find it. I think this was about £16. Well, maybe even cheaper, actually. Maybe even cheaper. Um, it's definitely real. I've looked at all of it. Um, no fingerprints in this one, but I believe not all of them have fingerprints. So, yeah. I like this one a lot. Uh, if I didn't have to give it to him, I would definitely keep this. What is going on here? Oh, there you go. Yeah, if I, if I didn't have to give it to him, I would be like, that's my one. Because I just like art. There's something about illustrations and art that make me happy as such. And then I'll tell you quickly, because like I said, this is going to have to be a two-part, because it's going to be like a half an hour video. The reason why I bought this card is because I bought another card, which was like this, but not this. Um, and it was actually this one, but in English. And the reason for that is I spent money and I got to... I got this card in English and a Ultra Beast one. I can't remember which one it was, but an Ultra Beast one. And um, it got sent out and it was a really good price. I got them for both under £20. They were real and together and I was really happy and over the moon. They sent it and every lost my parcel and I was absolutely gutted um, because I'm where I'm a little bit autistic. Like if I have my mind set on something, I have to get that. So I ended up then finding this card on eBay for £16 and I thought that was quite a steal. Um, I believe it's Japanese, but again, I don't know. And um, it's five band graphics. It's got all, the, oh, you can see the fingerprints in that one. Do you see the outlines on the background? Ah, oh, lovely, beautiful, beautiful stuff. So yeah, love this one. Um, I've become very attached. My son doesn't really care for it. So basically I'm just gonna claim this one. I say it's mine. Uh, we kind of do share cards anyway. I just don't let him if they really are like mean a lot to me, I'll be like, can you not handle that one? Can you just keep it in the folder? <laughs> can you just keep that there? <laughs> he understands it. Then we've got a Nag and Nadel and God's Lord. We got it in a normal. And then in a rainbow, five band graphics again for this one. So look at those pretty cards. Again, I can't remember the price of these, so I will find the price and I will put them on the screen. Excuse my nails, I haven't done them in a while. They're looking a little bit all over the place, a little bit long, longer than I'd imagine the summer broken. So yeah, <laughs> but yeah, look how pretty these are. These are just stunning. Yeah, I'm trying to kind of whisk through them. So here we have a Cinderace B Matte. This was bought on eBay. Oh my god, this is so cute. And this was the one that I was trying to find. I was selling the fake one and I was just really happy because I ended up finding this one cheaper. I don't buy on Vinted anymore unless there's a card that I cannot get anywhere else and it's simply cheaper on Vinted. I don't buy on there because Vinted has all these like pay buyers protection stuff. Um I say the shipping's more expensive. I just go straight to Depop. It has buyer protection within what it is, but I think it's because people pay a rate, rate on Depop to sell, whereas on Vinted, I don't think you do. But yeah, Depop all the way for me. And this comes in a really cute little sleeve. I don't have a sleeve like this, so I thought that was really cool. But yeah, so um, my son really likes Cinderace. So I got him a Cinderace. I don't really like these 
sleeves so much like i do like them for the purpose of like the design but they're really like misty um and i don't always like that so yeah i don't know if you can see the detail in the lay there you go can you see a little the smile that happened oh i find that so amazing i am so bloody like weird i'm fully aware of that but i thought that was bloody cool look at that it's a good card it's a bloody good card i literally think i paid on ebay six pounds for that again i'll put it on screen in case i can't find how much it was but yeah i was over the moon and very happy so these are my purchases so far the meme of these cards like i don't know how much i've spent on these i can't tell you that i'm terrified there's a lot of pokemon cards there so as always guys thank you ever so much for watching comment down below which good deals you think i got why you like to shop for your pokemon cards um have you had any good hits or pulls lately in the pokemon i mean the new paradox rift is out right exciting stuff um i may even do in the next video maybe show you the paradox rift cards that i have pulled because i have been opening i even had a original 151 um video that i have not uploaded yet so you know i'm a little bit behind but uni takes its toll but thank you so much for watching thank you for paying an interest in my interests and my hobbies if you're a pokemon lover please like please subscribe and come back and see me again soon and if there's anything you'd like to see just let me know in the comments below Thank you.